and today I'm going to be showing you Windows Vista Media Center and we're going to uh, go through a few of the features and options that it has and my current system I have a little compact laptop connected to my 42 inch plasma TV via a VGA cable which is 20 meters long and I also send the audio across through just a normal stereo audio feed across the TV and I use my mobile phone which is just basically a simple Nokia mobile phone which I use Bluetooth on the phone to talk back to the laptop and it's got a software program on it called Presenter which I programmed all the keys on the, uh, on the phone to remote control the computer. Okay, I'll first start off with uh, recorded TV. As you can see there, under TVs and mov TV and movies, we have recorded TV, play a DVD, and set up my TV. Now, this is designed, you can have a, um, a TV tuner card either on a desktop PC, or you can get a USB version for the laptop and plug your Skybox or um, TiVo or any sort of set-top box straight into it and record TV programs off the normal broadcast. But I haven't got that on this system because I'm not much of a fan of TV. So, so we've got that. Now, I'm just scrolling through these options with my phone. So, um, you would normally have a, a media center remote control, which you would scroll up and down through the options. Um, that's the weather. So, I, could, I can just click on that. And that would load up um, the current weather here for... Taronga in New Zealand. Takes a wee while to load. And it's here. That is the uh, satellite image. And it looks like there's a big front coming across from Australia towards New Zealand. From that's the front, and that's down onto New Zealand there. And we've got the forecast. So I can go on to that. I've got overview of the weather or the current weather. So the Q&H is 1031 and it's falling which, is, which means there's a front coming. 49% humidity, UV index 6 high which means you get sunburned, <laughs> sunrise and sunset and view unlimited because there's no cloud. 18 degrees it says it is outside, it's actually more than that and the wind is 10 kilometers an hour from the south southwest. So it gives you all those details so you need your computer connected to the internet through broadband for it to actually work properly. So I'll go back. Now I'll scroll down to online media. Program library. So I'll click on that. In there we have games, which are the Windows games basically. And you can play them on your TV and like chess and cards and so on. Um, what this program does is it allows you to subscribe to RSS feeds, which are um, like video, video RSS feeds, and then every night you can program it to download the um, episodes onto your computer. And these are some of the actual um, channels I've subscribed to. They're just video podcasts, CNET TV, Buzz Out Loud, with Tom, Tom Merritt and Molly Wood. They're awesome. That's more of a um, technical type program. Looney Tunes is a kids program thing. It's got cartoons and so on. Um, nature program. And I've got a couple of German um, programs I've subscribed here. So let's have a look at one. I'll show you what it actually looks like. So we'll go into, um, well, CNN Daily Video. That'll do. With still cancer, get ads. But without insurance. This is a sad one. Countless right? others yeah. with insurance. We'll have a look at Kelly's one. Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 218. I don't dis Google on very many fronts. Maybe that's because I want Google to buy Pacho so that my Pacho shares become Google shares. Or maybe it's just because I like Google. Don't know. I didn't like the changes Google made to the look and feel of Rightly. So, as you can see, you can subscribe to these feeds. Night on Sports Web, we have highlights from the hardwood. The diamond. And 
well, <coughs> well worth installing if you have um, set this system up because it's, especially from a technical point of view, you can subscribe to a whole lot of video podcasts. You don't have to just subscribe to these ones. There's thousands of them to choose from. And it's like your photos. So you have a picture library, which are all your photos in your folders. And it has thumbnails, as you can see, so you can scroll through them. Um, that's one of my f of recent Fiji holiday, holiday to Fiji. So you can go into the folder, just like you click on it with a mouse. There's the thumbnails of all the photos, and it will go through the image one at a time, if you want. So you've got photos, you've got um, now music and videos. So this is the videos. Now the videos, what I've done with my, with my videos, is I have ripped all my own DVDs at, onto my hard drive and re-encoded them as WMV files so I can just choose them off the hard drive. I'll just quickly give you a demo of King Kong. So basically it's so cool because you can just sit there and choose the videos and or the, your DVDs that you want to watch. So then you've got we've got my own personal videos. So they're just folders on the hard drive and they're all WMV files. So um, you now you've got music library, you can play all and then you can they're all coming as MP3s or WMAs. It's, that's the format. And then you can choose either a genre or go to individual songs or playlists or composers, years, album artists. So it's just okay, so there's there's an example, there's album artists. So ABBA, so you can choose your ABBA and then it comes up with all the tracks. Visualize Visualize, which is, um, it goes all spacey on the screen, or you can play a slideshow. So as soon as you play a slideshow, and then it will, it will actually play the music if I hit the play button. But due to copyright laws, I suspect I'm not allowed to. So I will just leave it like this. You just have to imagine that Dancing Queen by Ebba is playing in the background. <laughs> and that's basically the music side of it. So... Basically, this program rocks. It is absolutely wicked.